What you can do is you can help me um, bring people to ask questions and stuff. But, but she's my only co-host. But you'll run um, the audience. And what was your name? Tara. Tara, give it up for Tara. Okay. This is where my panel is, right? Okay. All right. I love my job. Okay. Like, what would be the fun, like, next fun thing that you, Maya, would really want to see? I don't know. S scary stuff, comedy, romantic stuff, drama. Scary. Another show. Scary? You guys want me to do scary stuff? Okay. How many people agree with her? How many rom-coms? Any cartoon animation? Any who is Jean Grey fans? <laughs> A couple people don't know who she is. Um, okay, so let's invite the audience up to ask questions. What is your name and where are you from? Okay. Okay. What is your name? Alice. Where are you from? Uh, <laughs> Straban. <laughs> We're ready for your I'm question. Okay. <laughs> um, Kat, what do you think was your favorite type of scenes to film as Bonnie in the Vampire Diaries? The scariest ones. <laughs> and I don't mean like scary as in like teeth and like the big contacts and like running for my life, <laughs> which was every week. Um, I mean like the scary emotional stuff. Yeah. That's always um, scary for, for me to film mm -hmm. um, because you, I, you have to be honest yeah. or nobody will believe you. Um, I'm not like a naturally, um, I'm not naturally good at anything, which is why I have to like study really hard and work really hard um, and train really hard. So if it's not honest, it won't, the scene won't matter, and then I've wasted all this time and energy and money and all, whatever it took to prepare for that scene for nothing. So those are my favorite scenes, or the, the emotionally scariest ones. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mark. Where are you from? I'm from Dublin. What, uh, what's your question? Sure. Well, um, you mentioned earlier that you were on uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, and you were April O'Neil. Uh, I'm just curious, when you started that role, did they ask you to watch any of the other uh, Ninja Turtle versions? Well, they or... didn't need to. <laughs> oh, okay. You've already done it. I have been like watching um, all of those kind of classic cartoons since I was her age, maybe even younger. I grew up on a lot of Nickelodeon, everything from The Simpsons, which are back there, to Scooby-Doo, to Rugrats, to Ren and Stimpy, Ninja Turtles, like I love cartoons. I'm an old school cartoon girl and I was always, thank you! I got a couple claps. Inspector Gadget, you gotta watch some of these. These are really like, really fun cartoons. Um, do you know Powerpuff Girls? Yeah, yeah, okay. So I watched all that stuff, um, but I genuinely, <laughs> they, have, they had me do like a vocal recording into my phone and then submit it for um, the opportunity to maybe get this audition or, or the role. I didn't think I was gonna get it, so I was so ridiculous. Like I had the most fun, I pretended like, <laughs> I put my dog on the bed and then I was recording the audition as if I was talking to my dog. So imagine all the stupid voices that we all do with our animals. That's what I was doing. I was like, God, I was just being so ridiculous. And then I sent it off not thinking literally anything. And they were like, they're really interested. I'm like, what? <laughs> so it was a total, I don't want to say it was a fluke. I, I just did my own version um, and, and had a lot of fun doing it. So <laughs> thank you. Hey. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Kelly. Where are you from? Dublin. <laughs> What's your question? Um, so, Kat, 
one of my favorite storylines is when we learn more about Bonnie's past as a witch. So would you, if you could write, if you could write, would you want to learn more and go more deeper into her history and her family's history as witches? Um, yeah, I think, I think there was so much room for a lot more um, development for my character and a few others, you know, but they had a lot of storylines to tell and they did, I think, what they could. Um, but yeah, I think there's, I always loved, you know, witch storylines and wizards and I'm a super Harry Potter fan <laughs> and I love all that stuff. So yeah, that would have been, that would have been really nice. That would have been really nice. Yeah, thank you, Kat. Thank you. I have a question. Where did you first learn about witches? Do you know about them? Is it from like Halloween or something? Halloween. Halloween. And what do you know about them? Um, they're very powerful. They're powerful. They have hats, brooms, wands, cauldrons, big noses, green, socks, boots. Yeah. They wear a lot of black. They have red hair. <laughs> I'm not a witch. Although, what a great disguise, huh? If I was. Okay. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Ella. Where are you from? Belfast. What's your question? So, there was a lot of like villains throughout the entirety of the Vampire Diaries. Cat, which villain was your favorite? Villain. Like a villain, like Catherine, um, the heretics, Kai, like what, what villain was like your favorite? Ooh. Uh, I think when Enzo had his humanity turned off, yeah. he was real scary. So yeah, him. And then um, when Michael Trevino, who played Tyler, would turn into a werewolf in the earlier seasons, they stopped doing that after a while. But that got real scary, guys. I was like, I'm gonna go to my room. <laughs> so some of those, some of those moments, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Did you have any any moments when you watched that you were like real scared? Tell me. Um, probably when. Anything, anything might want to know too. Probably when Enzo also sort of turned. Yeah. Yeah. In Hi. Hello there. <laughs> What's your name? Nicole. Nicole. Where are you from? I'm from Lisburn. What's your question? Well, first of all, Maya, you're doing an amazing job. So right? Well Can done. we take a break? <laughs> Can we give her a standing ovation? Can we just like, this is what she'll remember. Just. <laughs> you're doing really awesome. Um, first of all, Kat, the new hair is gorgeous. It's giving very much fall girl energy. I'm loving it. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> um, my question is, I suppose you've done an awful lot of humanitarian work um, with the UN Refugee Agency, and you really are one of those people that wants to see a positive change in the world, as well as all the arts work that you've done. What would you like to do next? Would you like to go down either of those routes further, or is there something new you would like to try out? I just, I kind of like doing, I'm kind of, I don't want to say boring, but I find that like, I think we should always do what we're really passionate about. So if you're like really into animals or nature, you would focus on animal rights or climate change. And for me, I like human rights. I think, I think you know, there's now over 120 million people in the world that, that have been forced to flee their homes. And I don't, I don't see it getting um, necessarily better or the crisis changing. Um, I definitely want to work with more kids. You know, <laughs> me and kids are like that. Uh, so I always want to empower more girls. Um, yeah, so definitely I want to do more, more work with children, but I think my refugee work, I, I mean, I hope I'm alive to see the last camp close, but um, and, until there's no more refugees, I think I'll be doing it until, I, until I'm no longer here, so. Yeah, but there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of kids like you that are going to, you know, 
kind of set the tone for other kids to stand in their power and to take the microphone and to say, I can do anything and it doesn't matter my age, it doesn't matter how small I am, it doesn't matter where I come from, it doesn't, you know, I, I know who I am, I own who I am, so, um, so that's exciting for me to stand behind uh, kids. Next. That's amazing. Step. Thank you for all your hard work Thank and you. for all your positive work that you do. It's absolutely Thank you. incredible. You're amazing. <laughs> Love you. I met her at One Young World. That was when I was in Belfast last. Um, so I did that last year. Um, hi. Hi. What's your name? Eve. Where are you from? Arma. What's your question? Um, so what would be your like favorite or your comfort movie or TV show? that you watch, just... Ooh. You go first, I gotta think. <laughs> Thump Paradise. That is not a comfort show. You said you got really scared. That's not comfort. Comfort is like cushy, warm feelings, like... Like how to lose a guy in 10 days, <laughs> or... <laughs> I don't know, com comfy... Thing. Um, I think I was watching Alice in Wonderland the other night. So I love like I love Disney movies, like old school, old school, old school Disney movies, um, like 1D animation. What is it? Oh, The Parent Trap. Yes, that is such a com comfy movie. Um, Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. <laughs> like Never Ending Story. Like I love like old school feel good. You Thank know. You. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, Shannon Rose. Shannon Rose. Where are you from? Dublin. What's your question? So, you know the way Vampire Diaries is about Stefan and Damon, and have you heard of Supernatural, which is about Sam and Dean? If you could do a crossover show with Supernatural or any other show, would you do it? And which show, if not Supernatural? Have you heard of Moon Knight? That no. Disney show? Has anyone watched Moon Knight? Um, you've watched it. You've watched it. Yeah, so a few people have watched it. It's, it's, a, it's a Marvel Disney show, and I really loved it because it's all like Egyptian. St I love Egyptian anything. Um, so I would watch that. Like, I would want to do, I want to do some Marvel stuff. It's about time. Hi, 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 hi. I'm going to wave to them in the back. <laughs> Hello. Hello. They're very excited to be here as well. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank so you. Beautiful. You're so beautiful. Hi. Hi. What's uh, your name? Joe. Where are you from? Ballymano. What's your question? So to see the way that there's Stefan and Damon, like who would you pick over them? Like Stefan or Damon? Do you mind answering this question and you're just <laughs> Damon. It's, it's, she's spoken, so that's, that's what it is. Thank Do you, you have a choice? Should I put you on blast about it? Have you thought about this question? Yeah. And your answer? Damon. Final answer? Damon. Okay, final answer. Let's give him a round of applause. It takes a lot of guts to be a kid and to stand there and have a question. Like, good for you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Are you ready to sing your song? <laughs> it's Adele. I wasn't sure you were going to do it, but I'm pretty impressed that you can sing Adele, so. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name? Sophie. Where are you from? Belfast. What's your question? Um, what was it like being on the Vampire Diaries? It was really intense. <laughs> it was really intense. You know how you watch shows and there's only like 10 episodes a season? Yeah. So it takes a long time to shoot. Yeah, we did like 22, 23 episodes a season and it took like two weeks to shoot even like one episode. So it was a lot of time. It was very intense. It was a lot of fun. Everyone was super committed. Um, how, how old are you? Nine. You're nine? Yeah. You're still a little young. But that's all right. 
Um, hopefully you watch it with a parent because it can get a little scary. Um, but I think that um, everything that you do, you have to work really hard at. You know, it's one of those things that I thought would necessarily be a little bit easier because I'd been acting since I was your age when I was doing the parent trap and stuff. But just letting you know it was real hard on, like, it was not easy for me. So I don't want you to like watch anything or if you're in school or you see somebody doing really well in school or on a test or if you're a dancer or you do makeup or whatever it is you do creatively for you to see somebody else and they might do it easier than you and then you think, oh, it's easy because that was not easy for me and I thought I did really good at it, so. Where can you post on your TikTok account again? Oh, I'm supposed to be live on my TikTok. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm gonna go live on my TikTok. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm not quite sure how to do it. Can you show me actually? Can you give me? If this is not the cutest panel you guys have ever been to, come on up. Okay, so how do I do it? Okay, this is the live. And then I just, oops. How do I do it? TikTok wants to access your microphone. Go to settings. Can you help me? I don't know how to, okay, here it is, microphone. Okay, and now, all right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Hello! So we have gone live on my TikTok. This is one of my first lives on TikTok. We're just gonna, can someone hold this for me? Can you hold this? Sorry, just hold my phone. And you just, yes, she's holding my phone. Say hi, hello, hello, hello everyone. Okay, all right. I don't know, just, just whatever. <laughs> all right, thank you. All right, bye. Okay. You can just sit on the stage if you want. Yeah, that's good. Hi. Yeah. Oh yeah, she, sorry, go ahead. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Olivia. Where are you from? Belfast. What's your question? What was your favorite moment on Vampire Diaries? Can you, can you have a favorite moment? Probably when Stefan turns into the Ripper. When he what? When he turns into the Ripper. Like early on then? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, my favorite moment. Uh, one of my favorite moments was when I would see things ending. Um, which is a weird thing to say, but like, I remembered how much I really, really, really love Nina Dobrev when it was that final scene. And sometimes when you, when you lose something, you realize how much you love it. And it was so nice to be reminded about how much I really, really loved her. Um, and, and have the, the walls between like, television and reality kind of blur. It was one of the first moments in my life I'd ever really felt like that, so. Um, I would say, even though it was a really sad moment for me, it was like a revelation as a, as a, as a friend. So, weird, weird thing to answer, but that's the truth. Hi guys, hi everyone on TikTok. She's my co-host. You can come, a, come closer, I don't know. It's fine. We're in Ireland. We're in Ireland. And then will you film them when they ask their questions? You guys, that's my TikTok. It's my TikTok. So proud of this moment. You have no idea. I'm so bad at TikTok. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's good. That's, that's good. Hi. Hi. Um. My question, I was just wondering how you got into acting or if there was like anyone who actually inspired you to get into it. Yeah, so I'm like kind of old, old school. 
So old school means like I used to watch all of these like old movies. Like I, I look at like all of these artists who were like singers and they were dancers and they were and they were actors, right? So a lot of people look at people like that, like Elvis Presley could act and 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 sing. Um, Will Smith, like all these people, but when I was, when I was your age, I was watching a girl named Shirley Temple. And my mom used to play these like Shirley Temple movies. And she was like, yay high. And she could tap and she could dance and she could sing. And she inspired me. And no matter what, I was going to be like the black Shirley Temple. So she was someone who really inspired me. And then I loved to dance. Um, so I would look at um, like Janet Jackson a lot. I love dance. Do you dance? Do you no. know how to dance yet? What do you do for fun? Gymnastics. You do gymnastics? Who's your favorite gymnast? Do you have one? No. Mine is Simone Biles. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, hun. Hi. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> Alana. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Boston, but I live in Belfast. What's your question? So I was wondering about the stunts on Vampire Diaries. Were you guys I did doing all of them. I did everyone's. <laughs> <laughs> that was all me. Every, you did every single I wore stunt. Paul's wig. <laughs> it's amazing. I wore Ian's. It's really impressive. The Thank way you, you were so in much. All those places at once. And like yes. the neck's broken. Yeah, I did everything. Well done. <laughs> no, we actually, a lot of us did our own stunts. We also had an incredible stunt team who actually did a lot of it. Um, all the fire stuff was mostly real, so I can say that I have a very good relationship with fire, so cool. I did a lot of that. But yeah, a lot of, I, I like to do a lot of my own stunts. It's also easier because every time you don't do your own stunt, they have to hold, you have to freeze. And, and then the other stunt person comes in and then they got to do it and take over. Where sometimes if a scene, especially on um, some of the movies I've done, <laughs> the emotions are so deeply connected to the stunts, there is a certain way that a stunt, I mean, a lot of great stunt artists would be able to, to, to portray the emotions in mm -hmm. the stunts, but um, yeah, yeah I, like, I like doing my own stunts and everyone else's. That's really cool, wow. <laughs> Superwoman, thank you. <laughs> I love anyone asking me a question in a, in a Harry Potter cloak. I therefore will take you seriously automatically. Are you, a, oh, do you what house are you, do you know? That was our Hubble second Pops! question. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually our second question. Do you know your house? <laughs> no. You don't know? You're not a Hufflepuff. You're, you're like a Gryffindor. Yeah, I'm married to a Gryffindor. <laughs> Are you Hufflepuff? No. Ravenclaw. Yeah. That was our second question for you. Yeah, what your sorry. Was, so I'm just going to ask. I'm ruining what, it. Who's you want to ask? Who's well, how about you ask her a question? I'm my co host. What's your Harry Potter house? You in the she Harry doesn't Potter? know yet. She doesn't, doesn't know. know. I said she's probably Gryffindor. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I see it. <laughs> I see it. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Both of you? Hermione. Hermione, too, for me. Nice I'm like wondering if like all of the redheads, <laughs> the witches that I've been watching, had some sort of effect from like Willow and Buffy to Hermione to yeah. like the girls in Trump. Like I'm just like, what? How did I end up here? Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. 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 What's your name? Um, I'm Eve. Where are you from? Um, Sinfield. What's your question? Um, do you prefer Damon and Elena as a couple or Stefan and Elena? I don't think about it. I really don't. I think about yogurt flavors. I think about mac and cheese. I think about, in America, we have something called Thanksgiving. I really think more about food than them. Do you want to ask me a food question? Um, what's your favorite food? Favorite flavor? Mm -hmm. no, what's your favorite food? Oh, I think, I think it might be ice cream. Like strawberry ice cream. You? Um, I'm dairy intolerant, I can't have ice cream. <laughs> I'm so sorry, no, hey, no, you don't get to get out of this that quick. They have lactose intolerant ice cream, dairy free ice cream, yeah. so give it up. Um, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, not that easy, not that easy. These are the things I think about. These are the things that keep me up at night. Flavors of ice cream, macaroni and cheese, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Uncrustables. These are important topics to ask me when you have me in your face. By the way, what character are you? Oh, um, I'm from an anime called Death Note. What is it called? I'm from an anime called Death Note. Death Note. I would know that. My husband watches a lot of anime. I should know this. I'm so sorry. Now I know. See? Um, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey. What's your name? Sarah. Where are you from? Bond Bridge. Say hi to my the people on my TikTok. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so last year I asked Ian and Paul the same question. Okay. If there was one piece of advice you could give to your younger self, what would it be? Oh man, I really wish I would have. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wouldn't give myself any advice because I knew what I was doing, else I wouldn't be here. But the honest truth, the honest answer is, I wish that I would have trusted myself more. Like if something didn't feel right, I sometimes would just steamroll over it and not trust my gut. And that was a big, big mistake. Um, and sometimes it took other people to bring things to my awareness for me to be like, yeah, it hadn't felt right the whole time, but I was insecure or I just wanted everyone to like me. So I didn't stand up for myself like I should have. And that's not something that I ever want any young girl that I'm around or that listens to me or knows me to, to, to feel. Ooh, what advice would you give your future self? What could? Yeah, what advice would you give? So say you are 35 years old, sitting on a stage. What would you say to your future self? Deep, right? So deep. I don't really know. What is it? I don't know. Yeah, you do. Um. Love yourself, maybe. Love myself. Yeah, it's important. Because sometimes we get older, we change, our bodies change, who we love changes, people come in and out of our life, and you know, sometimes our love for ourself gets affected by things like that. So I think for your future self, it's always to love yourself. When your hair turns gray, when you get wrinkly, if you get dumped by a boyfriend, if you decide to dump that person, if you lose somebody because you thought they'd be in your life forever, if you, lose a bunch of weight, if you gain a bunch of weight, if your hair turns red, whatever it is, like just to love yourself. It's the biggest thing. And tr trust yourself. It's simple, but it's tough, really tough to commit to. It's an everyday thing. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Hi. Hey. Hi. What's your name? Daria. Where are you from? Turkey. Oh, you're from Turkey. Yeah. What's your question? Actually, it's not really a question. Me and my friend made you bracelets. Oh, that's so nice. And would you like to have it? I would love, come on up, yeah. I love when you guys make me stuff. So I do this thing. Um, here, hold this. I do this thing where I do like trades. I heard that's what you Swifties do, you do trades, right? Okay, so I have, that's just a, that's not a bracelet, it's just my hair brand. So, here, can I show them? Yes. So you'll have the chicken, because that's kind of you. Like a little chicken. This one's mine. And this one, I'll trade these. You like purple, right? Yeah, yeah. So that'll be yours. Yay! Yay! So sweet. See your oh, I thought we were in trouble. By the way, we've totally, for you guys on TikTok, we have totally taken over this panel. That's actually my host, but I think she's getting a coffee. And so my girl here is doing the, um, the thing with me. I love you guys so much. Okay, sorry. They're making an announcement. That's why we're okay. All right. 
Hi guys. Hello. H hello. Hi. 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 Let's adjust that mic for you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, What's your name? Patrick McKeever. Where are you from? Ballygolly. What's your question? Have you ever hurt yourself doing a stunt? I hurt myself even walking up to set. <laughs> I am a dancer. Like I first started off as like a backup dancer, but I'm like the clumsiest person. I also used to skateboard. That's how I got to my auditions because I couldn't afford a car. So I would skateboard everywhere. I have like so many scars like everywhere. I am super, super clumsy. And my parents actually never taught me how to ride a bike. <laughs> So if you see somebody like riding a bike that looks like a weasel in a trench coat, that's me. Um, yeah, all the time. I can't say which thing that I did, but I have caught on fire before and they had to put me out with a fire extinguisher. I don't want anyone to get sued or anything, so I'm not gonna say what it was from, but fully caught on fire and I just heard like the whole, like the whole set being like, ah, fire, fire. But I was in the scene, I'm like, no, 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 I know this is a really good take. I'm gonna finish this scene. Feels a little hot, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna get this scene, I'm gonna get this shot. And by the time they cut, it's just like, I just saw a billow of smoke, because they were just like, they'd use the fire extinguisher on me. So, um, yes, I have, I have caught, I have done, I have gotten hurt, fell. Um, but you know, one of my favorite actors is, is Tom Cruise. Um, and he does a lot of his own stunts and, uh, but obviously, saying that to a young boy, I want you to also, like, be responsible. And if something doesn't feel right, like I told my girls, don't do it. And I'm also surrounded by super, super professionals. So that if something did go wrong, that they are there to protect me and to make sure that I have what I need. And I'm also wearing, like, fire-resistant clothes and things like that. So have fun take risks but be careful <laughs> okay last thing follow yeah. kat graham on on tiktok oh i love you oh. hi you're officially on my tiktok <laughs> i love your hair thanks i love both of your hair he's just you guys are so stinking cute um. and handsome and strong and brave What's your name? Nathan. Where are you from? Dungyaman. What's your question? Ronaldo or Messi? Oh, that's harder than the Stelena Delena questions I always get. Do you know who they are? Oh, like the Follies. Yeah, yeah, good job. Man, that's really hard. I like how, obviously they're both two of the best players in the world, right? and how they treat their fans, especially their young fans, they're both so kind to them. Um, they really, they, they, they're so awesome. That's hard for me. Um, they're both iconic, I don't know. Who's your favorite? Oh, then I'm gonna go with Ronaldo because yeah. I wanna be where you are. So yeah, yeah. Ronaldo for sure. Sue. Sue. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Max. Hey, Max. Hi. Where are you from? I'm from Poland. Oh, that's cool. What's your question? This is uh, like about the Vampire Diaries. Um, like, would you choose Jeremy or Enzo? I see someone smiling, like, I know what she's going to say. Y'all are so rude. Y'all are rude. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think um, the love of Bonnie's life was, was Enzo, so for her sake, I'll, I'll choose that. And then for me, Bryant Wood. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Max. Hello. Hiya. Hi. What's oh, your sorry. name? <laughs> What's your name? Um, my name's Leon. Where are you from? I'm from Belfast. What's your question? Um, have you ever gotten stage fright before? Um, 
or like I sh sometimes or yeah not on sets because I genuinely forget that there's a camera there if I actually paid attention while I'm doing these scenes and realized oh wow like this is going to be seen by millions of people I would have just shut down I would have completely panicked and like peed my pants but I don't I don't imagine there's a camera there um the only time I usually get stage fright is if I'm going up to speak in front of like, um, like, I don't know, like world leaders or something where it's like the thing that I'm supposed to be doing, which is like, I'm trying to make this world a better place and there's people in the room that can really help me do it. And that I get a little nervous and it's usually only like six or seven people I'll get stage fright in front of. A, a lot of people, I don't really get stage fright because I assume that we're all here to support each other and love each other and adore each other and um, give each other good vibes. And so I don't feel unsafe with you. So I think if you, do you ever stu suffer from stage fright? No? Well, good. And if you do or anyone watching suffers from stage fright, I think just try and imagine that everyone that's in front of you is there to love you and support you and thinks you're amazing and wants to cheer you on and that you feel the same way about them and it'll just boop. Or you can imagine, you know, everyone in their pajamas. <laughs> well, that was all. I love your hair, by the way. Thank you, thank you, I'll keep it. Hi. 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 What's your name? Uh, Dasha. Where are you from? I'm from Latvia, but I live in England. She gave me this bracelet here. Um, my question is, is there like any country that you haven't been to that you'd love to visit? I don't know. You want to go first? Do you have a country that you haven't been to yet that you want to visit? Dubai. Where is it? Dubai. Dubai? That's fancy. Why Dubai? I always see like YouTubers going to there. Yeah, it looks very fancy. You couldn't have found a fancier place. Jeez. Ah. Uh, well, after Dubai, um, <laughs> um, a place that I really want to go to. Hmm. Hmm. That I've never been to. I don't know. You guys want to shout some stuff out that you places that you want to go to? Where? India. I've, I've been to India, but I want to go back. Poland. You know, my grandfather, my late grandfather um, was Polish. So, yeah, I'd want to go to Poland for sure. You should visit Latvia. I should visit <laughs> Latvia. Oh. You guys think I'm, like, kind of silly, but... I'm super sentimental, so she gave me this, and I keep it in my pocket, and let me find this stupid thing, hold on. And she gave me this frog. It's got amber, and it's good luck. Thank you. So I, lo I, lo I try and keep everything you guys give me if it's small enough to pack, and the letters. This is gonna give me good luck. So sorry to interrupt. Just Val oh. over here not doing my job. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry to tell you. Just being timekeeper, that's going to be our final question. Oh, right final here. question. Okay. Yes. I'll hold this for the final question. Thank you. Final question, guys, and then we're going to go off. But thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hi. 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 Hello. That's my TikTok. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Erin, and this is Jamie Grace. Where are you from? We are from Longford, County Longford, middle of Ireland. What's your question? Well, Jamie Grace is wondering who your favorite Disney princess is. <gasps> My favorite Disney princess? <laughs> I'm really into nature these days, so maybe Snow White. That's a good one. She talks to birds and stuff, and I don't know. Who are you today? Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine. Yeah, for sure, Jasmine. I love Jasmine. That's a good one. That's a good one for sure. Ariel. I've been called Ariel a lot because of my hair. Yeah, it's like Ariel, isn't it? 
Yeah, Tiana. There's some good ones out there now, huh? What's Shrek's wife, Princess Fiona? Yeah. Yeah, I look like her at two in the morning. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much. And, and bye, bye to everyone on TikTok from Ireland. We love you guys. We love you. Kat, we're gonna do one final, final, final question right here and then we're done. I'm gonna end this so I know how to do it. Wait, <laughs> can someone take my phone and end it for me? I don't know how to do it. Thank you <laughs> Sorry, guys, guys for I'm being honest. so, pa she's been so patient, thank you. Uh, hi. 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 What's your name? Emma. Where are you from? Longford. What's your question? Um, what's your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Honestly, I love pineapple and like barbecue chicken. Thank you. Thank you. I've been ostracized in my house about it. So it's nice to know that there's at least four or five people in here that also appreciate it. Can you tell me yours? Um, just cheese. Just cheese. Just one kind of cheese, five different kinds of cheeses. Mozzarella. And on that note, <laughs> I love you guys. Listen, you know, these things are so amazing because obviously we get to connect and, 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 and we all get to fan out um, over our favorite shows and actors. But what really makes this a magical experience for me is really connecting with you guys and getting to know you and making you feel loved and seen the way you guys have made me feel loved and seen um, for the past however many years of my life. And I'm so, so grateful and thank you for having me. And please give it up for this incredible. Our hostess with the mostest, thank you so you are much. You awesome, thank you. Thank you for what? <laughs> for being so graceful. You wanna take a bow? Is this your first bow? Woo! Yay! Good job. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise again. Show your love and appreciation for the incredibly giving, the legendary Cat Graham.